This is Stephen Farrell for the New York Times. At around 12.15, the Verrazano Bridge was still closed, and there was a long line of people waiting to get across. Manhattan Beach resident Mayor Riggan was one. He said his house was flooded, and he was traveling to New Jersey to see his family. They say it's going to open up any minute, but it looks like they're waiting for the wind to die down, so... How much of an inconvenience is it? What do you got to do? Get to wait. <laughs> Within minutes, the wait was over. The police opened the bridge and traffic started flowing. It's 1.30 in the afternoon and the Hugh L. Carey Tunnel, formerly the Brooklyn Battery Tunnel, is still closed. Red and white lights are flashing at the entrance and the, all the lanes are just a sea of yellow stop signs and red no entry. The scene was the same at the Queen's Midtown Tunnel, although by now, like the Verrazano, other bridges were open. Meanwhile, on the streets of Brooklyn, things began to get back to some semblance of normality. Residents were out for a stroll, checking out the height of the infamous Goannas Canal, a litmus for flooding in the neighborhood. The water remains higher than normal, and there's a lot of work ahead. Yeah, it's significantly higher. It's really high. It seems like there's a lot of trash floating around. Yeah, and we're seeing a lot of the people in the neighborhood pumping water out of their basements or the ground floors. 